Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a daily reading for, you know, well, it's Sunday, but you could say Sunday to Monday, but you know, the timing is fluid because it just is, so I wouldn't put any date on these readings. This is an energy I'm picking up on today, so this is a reading for somebody, I don't know who, let's see what comes up. We're going to get one of these for an overall energy. Then we're going to use that deck right there. Ooh, the Temple Path. The path that leads you to a better place. So it looks as though somebody is headed in a new direction towards a place that is uh, sacred, perhaps. You know, it's it's definitely a. It's a beautiful place, you know. Now that's a three. That's a three. So we know what threes are. Threes are about growth. They're about change. Um, they're about your your prayers being heard. So I think that you are definitely be gu being guided down a new path. Perhaps you're taking those steps as we speak. Maybe it's just a path of enlightenment. Maybe you've been enlightened, you know. It's time to go down that, that new road. Spirituality is a big factor at this time. Now we got a challenge here. We got a challenge. The Ten of One dropping what doesn't serve you. That's always a challenge, isn't it? It really is. Letting go of the burdens, the things that weigh us down. It's a challenge to let go. It is. Of things that we've held on to for so long. But it looks as though that's that's what's needed here. I mean you can't you can't keep holding on to things that are too heavy. You know, things that weigh you down. This is, it's time to break free. It's time to make a conscious change. And I think that's what's going on. I'm dropping this. I'm dropping it. I'm dropping this heaviness. My ear is starting to ring. My right ear is starting to ring. Um, balance is waiting. But in order to get to that place of balance and harmony, you can't hold on to something. Something is way too heavy. Ooh, could be the past hurts. Could be the past hurts. Could be the pain. You know, I've said this many times throughout my readings. True suffering brings true growth. So somebody is, has been through a period of suffering and they've been weighed down from it, but perhaps now they're really, really starting to let it go with this Three of Swords. It's like leaving the past hurts behind. It's a recovery period. Releasing pain. Ooh. Queen of Pentacles. This is being practical, being responsible. This is this is being grounded, nurturing yourself. Look at that big, big, huge opportunity right there. I mean, she's holding the Ace of Pentacles. She is. She's holding a golden opportunity right in her hands. 
she's abundant. I mean, there's a, there's a, a huge abundance uh, in your hands. But you have to grow it, right? You have to nurture it. You have to manifest it. You have to be disciplined. You got to work. You got to do you got to do the work. You have to do the work. I mean, she's a worker. She doesn't quit. No quitting. And she's very fertile. I mean, the queen of pentacles is probably the most fertile queen of them all. She's very fertile. She can grow anything. You have the ability. She's a green thumb. She's 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 very green, put it that way. Um she's very mothering, she's very nurturing. She takes care of business, but she has to take care of herself too. She's practical. She's she is. She's devoted. You have to devote yourself to your own abundance or you're not going to get it. Ooh, the tower, cleansing, something. You know, if you think, well, you always see what's mirroring each other. Uh, cleansing out the toxins, the heaviness that are within you. Somebody may be going through a cleansing because it is time to be practical and go down a new path. Somebody may be starting to feel relief as they let go. Ooh, look at that shit. Look at where, where it landed, too. That's funny. I mean, it, that, that's funny. Oh, God. Oh. So this is, this is a fast-moving night. Somebody that comes charging in or comes trotting in really, really fast with a whole lot of passion. I don't think I'm going to be able to move this card. Usually it was supposed to go over there, but because it landed here, I don't think that that's a wise decision. It was meant to go right here. Um, this tower is a disruption. A shakeup. Look at the, all the fire, the orange here. There's definitely... <laughs> A change on the horizon and it's going to lead you in a on a new adventure and you're being called to just go for it just go for it take action I don't know what to do with that card well I guess we'll go like this I'll improvise um, this is act now, think later. You're going to have to anyway, because when the tower comes in, that's the universe, you know, changing things for you. So something is changing and it may be a little uncomfortable, but it's going to bring you relief, whatever it is. I called it. I did. In my head, I saw this. I knew that was going to happen. I did. That's funny. Anyhow, um, it's time to just be happy. It's time to let go of the past conflict, the past hurts, the past struggles. I mean, fives are conflicts and changes and struggles and you know, it's, it, but these are both reversed. It's like, I know that I have something big to offer and I, there's no need for me to be lonely anymore. If somebody has been in a period of loneliness, you know, and unable to move on from the past hurts, I feel like that period is just about over. I see a, I see a partnership here. It's a perfect match. It is a perfect match. These two people are very compatible together. It's, I mean, they both have something big to offer each other. This is Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. This is 
Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have Virgo here. We have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But either way, this is a huge opportunity to grow something really, really big. Both of these people have the ability to grow anything. They're both hard workers. They're both stable. They're both loyal. They're both uh, steadfast in their approach. I feel like both of these people are focused on their own stability and their own security so that when they do come together they both have something big to offer this person well both of these people okay this person is be is leaving the is beginning to realize that they do have something to offer something big they may have held on to some hurtful situation, you know, and been in hermit mode and gone through a period of enlightenment for long enough. It's like now they realize that they're, they're enough. They are enough. And then we have this person over here who's, who's focused on what she has to offer. It looks like these people, uh, they may be a little... Uh, shy <laughs> I, I feel like they're both shy because both of their fit heads are, are looking down you know I think that they know that they have a lot to offer but they're both a little shy about it I feel a, a feeling of shyness a feeling of you know I have I have this but is it enough is it enough um, this is, this is coming out of a period of solitude, coming out of a period of, of, uh, enlightenment. I think it's time. It's time. It's, it's time to move in a new direction, start this new chapter. There's definitely a track and attraction between these two people. There is, I feel like, um... If you have been alone and lonely and feeling like you're going to grow old alone or feeling like, you know, you're never going to heal from these past hurts, I'm here to tell you that it looks to me like we have two people that have gone through a healing. They've gone through a healing period. They may be still healing. They may be still. Because look what's right in between them. Okay, right in between these two people is letting go of the past hurts and perhaps healing together. I feel like these people have an opportunity to heal together, you know, to drop the, 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 the heaviness that they have carried together, to do it together. Not alone anymore. There's an opportunity for two people to come together after being in a very troublesome, conflicting situation. I think there's been a... A change and I think this change has already happened which has allowed somebody to take action and move forward there's been some sort of breakthrough per se okay there has there's been some sort of breakthrough that has allowed somebody to move forward and now it's like look what I got look what I got it's a big <laughs> It's a big opportunity. It's a big opportunity here. Um, so, and this one's just like, I got a big opportunity too. So there's two people that both have a lot to offer. And, and maybe they've both been lonely, but it looks like their loneliness is about to dissipate because the only thing in between them
is letting go, letting go of the past hurts. That's the only thing in between them. Truly dropping the past and moving forward. That's the only thing that is between them. These people have an opportunity to help each other heal. That's that's the, absolutely the truth. There could have been some rejection in the past. And there may be fear of rejection. Both of these people... You know, they see themselves as stable and secure, and they are stable and secure, but they may be afraid of being rejected by, from the other person. I think these people think a lot alike. They're, they, they're thinking very much alike. I think both of these people are fear, fearing rejection because of the past. Thinking negative, negative thinking. Oh, I knew it. I did. I did. I did. I was this is why I used this deck cuz I was waiting for this card. I saw this card in my head. Um This is what you've been waiting for. This is what you've been waiting for. It is. Something is arriving that you have waited patiently for something that you have been praying for it's a, it's here it's it is it is a it is a perfect match it is a perfect match it really is i mean and there's a definitely an attraction here a lot of compatibility i mean very com we have a very compatible couple here we do. We have a very, very, I mean, these are, this is a perfect, perfect, perfect match. I mean, it is. It is. It's a perfect match. You can't, you can't look at it any other way. There's so much alike. It's, it's just crazy. It is. These are the same people. All right. So we have two people that are really, really close. I mean, look how close they are. They're really, really close to coming together. After they have been through some really, you know, conflicting times where they were perhaps um, dealing with a lot of tension, a lot of uh, back and forth uh, chaos in their life. Now all of a sudden this connection um, has been... Realized, okay... Somebody somebody needs to let go of their negative thinking. Somebody is thinking negatively about fear of rejection. And you guys see where this card is connected to this person and this person. There's definitely, you know, negative thoughts going through or negative... Uh, there could be even negative people around. You know, somebody is thinking they're going to get bad news... When I don't see that happening, I don't see that happening. Maybe they fear, you know, I'm just going to grow old alone. Even I'm not good enough. What I have to offer isn't good enough. That's that's not true. There's an opportunity for happiness here and love. If you just go for it, if you take a risk, just go. Don't think about it. Just go. Whatever broke down in the past, whatever whatever fell apart was meant to fall apart so that you could unite with this soulmate. So I feel like we have a new connection. This is this is a new connection here. That is unexpected. It, it's like it's happened so fast. It has happened fast. And I feel like you may you may feel like what if, what if, uh, I don't meet their expectations, but the fact of the matter is, this is so beautiful that I don't, I don't see it being a problem at all. I don't see it being a problem at all. There's just too much connection here. There is, there's too much connection. It's just like, 
you look into this person's eyes and it's like you're it you know I see you you see right through them you know it's in the, it's in the eyes it's like you see you see you see it's it's just a perfect perfect connection there's there's a lot of compatibility here between two people and I think it's what you have been praying for but there's fear of rejection because of the past hurts you know maybe the person in the past was negative you know didn't didn't follow through didn't have a whole lot of passion and that's why, you know, you feel like you don't have enough to offer. There's definitely negative thinking getting in the way. There's indecision. There is. There's indecision over coming together. There is. Even though you feel the connection, there's indecision because there's been so much hurt in the past. It's so scary. It is so scary. Um, ooh, son of a gun. What the hell? Now, there's bitterness. There's resent. There's... Uh, having your guard up somebody needs to let their guard down and let go of that bitterness and that resent and that anger you know it's time to accept the the truth about I mean this is accepting the truth coming out of denial about a past connection that was false There's an opportunity to let go of your loneliness. There is if you put in effort on this new connection. There's a new connection here. But there's a lot of fear and there's a lot of having your guard up and there's a lot of um, indecision. And there is. You really have to decide, or please, try to decide. You know, it's time to be happy. It is time to be happy. It is time. But in order to be happy, you're going to have to forgive the person that broke you in the past. I mean, so that you can move forward in this new commitment, this new love connection. Forgiveness is needed of the past. And that's what this is. So, yikes. Um, somebody is, there's the negative thoughts I was telling you about. Um, maybe there's fear of giving up your independence. There's emotional detachment here. The only reason people are would be emotionally detached is because of fear. So anyway, there's there's somebody that is in sight. They're like right in front of you. But fear of rejection is hindering you're being told to go for it just go for it this is being brought to you I mean that's Cupid's arrow this is a perfect match just go for it let your guard down don't hold on to the resentment of the past forgive the past because this connection is beautiful
it basically, I mean, if it, it could lead you home, you know, to where you actually feel at home with another person again. You have to make a conscious change to let go of your bitterness, your resent, your anger, your animosities of the past because there's a love connection here that is very compatible. Now, this is also a card of love heals. There's an opportunity for these two people to help each other heal even more. We're going to get some of these. You have to make a choice here. Do you want this love connection or not? There's definitely a feeling of seduction here. All of a sudden, you may be unexpectedly falling in love with somebody. I mean... You're being called to go for it. Just go for it. Let your guard down. Oh, God, I just shuffled and looked on the bottom. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Give it a chance. Give it a chance, right? Oh, my goodness. Unexpected choice in love. Do you want it or not? Do you want it or not? It's something you don't really... It's such a big opportunity that... I mean, it's something you can actually build on. It's something you can save. It's something that could work. It's what you've manifested. It's a huge opportunity for two people to come together that are absolutely perfect for each other. But you gotta let go of the, the fear and you gotta think positive instead of negative. Oh, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Maybe you and this person go on a little trip. Get to know each other for the weekend. Oh, I knew it too. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Go for it. There's a mutual attraction here. There is. Why deny it? On the bottom forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past you experience more love in the present moments that is what this is there is more love right now than there was in the past make that conscious change to let the past go so that you can have this perfect union there's two people coming together that are meant to be they're both scared they're both a little shy. They both know that they have a lot to offer. They're both afraid of rejection. But there's an opportunity to, you know, be happy. To fall in love. But you got to take action. And that means take action. Do something about it. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. This person's not your usual type. The lover's card would suggest that as well. Completely different than the last one. Completely different. Move forward. Take action right now. Whatever, whatever fell apart in the past was meant to fall apart. Because you have a better love connection here.
So that's what I see. I feel like somebody is holding on to resentment of the past when they should be letting it go because there's a love connection here that is undeniable. There's a mutual attraction. There's fear of rejection, but I don't see any rejection happening. So I don't know who this is for. Um... That's what I got. Talk to you next time.